Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. When we say routine problem, it involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operations and or ratio to solve problems. While non-routine problem, it does not have path to the answer. It is not readily known and requires resolution. It enhances critical thinking, flexibility, thinking out of the box, innovation, imagination, and creativity. Our first problem is a routine problem. A 25-kilogram bag of special rice cost 1,268 pesos and 75 centavos. Mississippi buys 5 kilogram of this rice. How much will she pay? To solve our problem, first is we're going to understand what is asked. It is asking for the amount she will pay for 5 kilos of rice. What are the given facts? The given facts are 25 kilogram bag of rice, 1,268 pesos and 75 centavos, cost of 25 kilogram of rice, and 5 kilogram of rice. After understanding the problem, next is we're going to make a plan. In a routine problem, we will know what operation to be used. In our problem, we're going to use division and multiplication. What is the number sentence? The number sentence is 1,268 pesos and 75 centavos divided by 25 times 5 is equal to N. We have already a plan, so let's carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. First, we're going to divide 1,268 pesos and 75 centavos by 25. So, let's divide. 1 divided by 25 cannot be. We take two digits. 12 divided by 25 still cannot be because 12 is less than 25. So we take three digits. 126 divided by 25 is equal to 5. 5 times 25 is equal to 125. 126 minus 125 is equal to 1. Bring down 8. 18 divided by 25 is equal to zero then we're going to copy the decimal point to our quotient then zero times 25 is equal to zero 18 minus zero is equal to 18 bring down seven 187 divided by 25 is equal to seven seven times 25 is equal to 175 187 minus 175 is equal to 12, bring down 5. 125 divided by 25 is equal to 5. 5 times 25 is equal to 125. 125 minus 125 is equal to 0 or we don't have a remainder. Therefore, 1 kilo of rice is equal to... 50 pesos and 75 centavos. Since Mrs. Apida will buy 5 kilos, so we're going to multiply 50 pesos and 75 centavos by 5. Okay, and the product is 253 pesos and 75 centavos. Therefore, Mrs. Sapida will pay 
253 pesos and 75 centavos for 5 kilos of rice at 50 pesos and 75 centavos per kilo. The next step is we're going to check. We're going to divide 253 pesos and 75 centavos, which is the cost for 5 kilos, by 5. Okay, we're going to get the price for 1 kilo of rice. So let's divide. 2 divided by 5 cannot be. We take 2 digits. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 25 minus 25 is equal to 0. Bring down 3. 3 divided by 5 is equal to 0. Then we're going to copy the decimal points or quotient. 0 times 5 is equal to 0. 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. Bring down 7. 37 divided by 5 is equal to 7. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. 37 minus 35 is equal to 2. Bring down 5. So 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. And 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 25 minus 25 is equal to 0 or we don't have a remainder. As we know that 50 pesos and 75 centavos is the price of 1 kilo of rice. Therefore, we get the correct answer to our problem. Our next problem is solving non-routine problem. How many 25 centavo coins are equal to 6 pesos? To answer our problem, let's understand what is asked. In our problem, it is asking for the number of 25 centavo coins are equal to 6 pesos. What are the given facts? 25 centavo coins and 6 pesos. The next step is we're going to make a plan. To get the answer, we're going to use listing method or mental computation. Next is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. We're going to list 25 centavo coins in 1 peso. As we know that there are 4 centavo coins are there in 1 peso. So, we're going to count 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Okay. There are 24, 25 centavo coins equal to 6 pesos. If we're going to use mental computation, 4 25 centavo coins are there in 1 peso. So if it is 6 pesos, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Okay, we can use also multiplication. Therefore, there are 24 pieces of 25 centavo coins are there in 6 pesos. The last step is we're going to check. In this problem, we're going to use the idea that 25 centavos is equal to 25 hundredths. So we can divide 6 pesos by 25 hundredths. In dividing decimals, we should make our divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right of the last digit. We move two decimal places. Likewise, we're going to move two decimal places in our dividend. So, 600 divided by 25. 6 divided by 25 cannot be. We take two digits. 60 divided by 25 is equal to 2. 2 times 25 is equal to 50. 60 minus 50 is equal to 10. Bring down 
0. 100 divided by 25 is equal to 4. 4 times 25 is equal to 100. 100 minus 100 is equal to 0 or we don't have a remainder. As we know that, our answer a while ago is 24. Therefore, we get the correct answer to our problem. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I uploaded a new video, you will be notified. Thank you for watching!